In this video, we'll look at how to get started using the DevExpress Blazor Date Edit. A date edit component displays a drop-down calendar that allows users to select dates. Let's look at how to add a date edit and customize it. I've already created a Blazor application that's configured to use DevExpress components. Now I add a DX date edit to the page and use the at bind attribute to bind the editor's value property to a date time data field that is declared in the at code block. This attribute allows you to implement two-way binding. This means when the editor is rendered, its value comes from the bound field. When a user changes the input value and removes focus, the property's value is updated. As an alternative, you can specify the date property and handle the date changed event. Now let's run the app. The date edit works as before. If the date edit is bound to a nullable datetime object, users can clear the editor's value. I specify the nullable type for this data field. I also set the clear button display mode property to auto to show the clear button when the editor has a non-null value and specify the prompt text that should be displayed when the editor's value is null. Let's view the changes. Now I can clear the editor's value. You can change the date format for the editor. The display format is used to format the value displayed when the editor is not focused. The format property specifies a date format in edit mode when the editor is focused. Now you can view how the format is changed when the editor is focused. Currently, the date edit displays dates. You can also enable the editor to display time values. To do this, I switch back to Visual Studio and set the time section visible property to true. I also change the date formats. Now, the editor displays the value in the date time format. When I open the drop down window, the time section appears and I can use the time picker to edit the value or I can just enter the value in the edit box. The date edit also allows you to limit a range of available dates. To do this, specify the min date and max date properties. The minimum date is November 1st. The maximum date is November 30th. The date edits calendar disables dates that are out of the range and hides navigation arrows for them. If I type a date that is out of the range, the date edit keeps the previously selected date. You can also disable selection of specific dates based on custom logic. For example, I implement custom logic in the on custom disabled date function, and now I specify this function as a handler for the custom disabled date event. In this function, the date property is used to determine the process day. The isDisabled property specifies whether the process date is available. You can see that the available dates start from today and the third and fifth days are disabled. Our Blazor date edit can also adapt its data picker to each device type. Currently, the date picker is displayed as a calendar. To change the picker type, I use the picker display mode property. I also define the date format for each scroll picker segment. Now the editor displays the date picker as a scroll picker. And that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up or leave a question or comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified anytime we release new content. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.